So hello. Now I'm I'm doing a vlog a, a vlog. I'm doing my video, my Cyber Saturday video like this. At the moment, I have had. I'm going to tell you all about it because it's been a bit crazy. Um, but I have had such a crazy couple of weeks that I just kind of need to chill, if that makes sense. Um, don't get me wrong. My life is absolutely incredible. My life is just. I love my life. I couldn't. It couldn't get any better. It is just the most incredible, incredible, incredible world that I live in. Um, but every now and again, I tend to get a little bit, <gasps> and my head just feels like it's going to explode. So this is why I am doing a little, a, a, a different, a different vlog today. But there's loads to go in it. But at the moment, I am literally sat. So. I'm sat in front of my computer. Um, yesterday, I was so so lucky. My friend, uh, my friend Gemma and Mark got married, and I was I was asked if I would like to film their wedding. So at the moment, all I've done is I have just downloaded all of their footage. So it's a bit crazy. So at the moment, I am literally just going through all the footage that I shot yesterday. So I've had some really, really lovely pieces and I did some amazing pictures as well. Her wedding was stunning. Just check out this. That is not that gorgeous. I'm a little bit of a kind of an amateur photographer at the moment. I'm very, very lucky because I have an incredible camera, uh, which is the camera I'm talking to you on now. And it is just the most amazing camera. But look at that photo. How beautiful is that picture? I'm so pleased with it. So literally yesterday it was just myself. We were invited anyway um, because she's she's one of my oldest friends, and uh, we were invited to her wedding. But of course, I started doing my film and TV degree back in end of February this year, so I've only been doing it like less than two months. Um, and of course, she messaged saying, "Would I like to do some of the wedding videos to give me a bit of practice?" <laughs> um, why not? In it, why not? So I agreed, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I tell you, I'm exhausted. So now, what I have been up to is I have been contacted by a lot of companies at the moment uh, asking me to collaborate with them, which is brilliant. Um, one of them uh, isn't so much a company, but it's obviously Wizarding World, is the Leaky Cauldron. Now, I have been following Leaky Cauldron. Oh my god um for a very 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 long time i have worshipped the leaky cauldron since they first started in early two early 2000s i think um for me they were like the daily prophet of the muggle world so they messaged me a couple of weeks ago asking would i like to start doing a regular program called the magical emporium which is hosted by me um, and i talk about collecting so I'm really, really kind of excited about that. So the last couple of days, as apart from the wedding, has been filming about the first episode. So the first episode is about the Triwizard Dragon eggs, obviously the Easter theme, so it's quite nice. So I have been sorting out that all day. Um, my husband's just gone to work because he's a doorman as well, so he's he's the head doorman, so he's gone to work. My eldest boy has gone to see his friends in our local town, and my littlest boy Harry has gone to Legoland with his daddy. So he's gone there for the weekend, and they are staying in the Lego hotel. So of course I've had photographs of him being an absolute pleb, but he is so happy. He's so excited. Anyway, I want to talk to you about what I've been receiving. So one of the items I received this week, which I will do closer look at, is this incredible item from QMX. So this is the limited edition Hagrid and Harry. Look at that, how beautiful is that? I absolutely love it. This is number, I think it's, it's 4,402 4, of 10,000. So I'm very lucky to have been sent that. And I also have the Hermione Quick Spell as well, which I really, really, really love. Um, but that's still boxed at the moment. I had to get that out of the box as quick as it arrived because I love it. Now let me show you the eggs I've been working with today. So these are the eggs I have been working with today. So as you can see there, you've got my Japanese exclusive. That's a, um, a little trinket box that plays music. And then of course you've got the magnificently large dragon egg 
prop replica by Noble Collection. And then as you move over, you've got little chess pieces here and you've got, oh, hello. And you've got the uh, Tri-Wizard Dragon Egg by Geek Gear as well there. And then as you look further down, you have the gorgeous Noble Collection Dragon Egg, which is a Dragon Egg necklace, which opens. So my video that I've done for Leaky is all about that. Let me show you my desk. I love my desk. So you've got my little Niffler here which is gorgeous, looking after my my uh, Ravenclaw diadem necklace. And then you have, I love this, my Mandrake from Geek Gear last month, I think it was. Isn't he gorgeous? And then I have my non-official, uh, my little wizard um, meerkat there, just poking behind. And then of course I showed you this just now, which is my Hagrid and Harry um, QNX figure. My Gryffindor sword, uh, sword, so that's my letter opener. I'm not a Gryffindor, but I love that. You've got my mirror of Erised mirror behind there. And then just for the purpose of this video, I have got my hourglass and a, um, a, a, a Amortentia candle up there, which is literally to put height because my camera's been sitting on the top. Behind that then, you have my potions light, which is amazing. And as you can see then, it flashes as well, like pub, like bubbling potion inside. So this is my desk. And as you can go, as you look up as well, you've got the new Mina Lima print, which is absolutely beautiful there. And as you come over further, you have the fantastic, fantastic beasts and where to find them, exclusive picture by Mina Lima. That is actually the very first print that was sold, um, 350 pounds worth. <gasps> and then of course, my wonderful new Apple Mac, which I love. And then as you come over, I've got my Mina Lima notebooks in the background, that gorgeous new um, note pen, a pen that I found as well uh, on eBay, which you can get from Sainsbury's for about 3 50 I love it. My owl lamp in the background. My Wicked book, my Grimmery, uh, from when I saw Wicked a couple of weeks ago, my daughter. My Rememberal there from the Warner Brothers Studio tour that I had for Mother's Day. My Wicked glasses, I love those they are seriously wicked um, and ignore the sweetie bags they are from the wedding yesterday a bit crazy um, so it's a bit, of a bit of a mess I've got my Triwizard Dragon uh, from Star Ace my Dragon Egg Star Ace uh, thing there that I've actually been waiting I've been waiting to put back my phone and everything else so another thing that I wanted to show you so I don't know if you remember but I um, last weekend I I bought a enormously large box from the Two Broom Six, and I know I've been telling you, oh sorry, asking you what was inside this box, would you like to know? I've been inundated by people asking me what was in it, what was in it, what was in it. This is what was in it. So what was in the box? <laughs> and Nimbus 2001. Um, I actually have this, I let you ridiculously practically free because it's slightly damaged. As you can see at the top, part of it's been worn away. However, it is absolutely incredible. I have my first broom! I can't believe it! I have wanted a broom for so long and this thing is incredible! Look at that! So obviously, as you guys remember, this was from the Chamber of Secrets. And Malfoy's father, Mr. Lucius Malfoy, buys the entire Slytherin team um, a Nimbus 2001 to buy Malfoy on the squad. So this is an incredible, incredible item. It is a shame that this is damaged at the top, but they're like 200 and, what are they, 290 pound or something? I can't afford that, oh my goodness. So I now have my first ever broom. I cannot believe it. My first broomstick. My eldest son actually took this off me and started riding around the house with it. So he is a bit of a bugger. This is gonna be hung up in here in my office. So this one is going to dig its place. Mm -hmm. Other items I've been getting as well. This I got today from my amazing husband. It is the figures from Funko. And it is obviously the, you've got Dumbledore, you've got Minerva McGonagall, Harry, Ron, and Hermione there as well. This is only £10. I think that's amazing. This was from B&M in Nice. Absolutely love it. What else have I been having? I have also had this gorgeous QMX Quick Spell Hermione Granger as well, so I'm very lucky. 
and my incredible friends at Star Ace, thank you so much, have sent me this Bellatrix Lestrange prison figure and the Bellatrix Lestrange in her gorgeous outfit from the Order of the Phoenix. So absolutely love these. I'm actually thinking when I do the unboxing for them that I may do a bit of a Bellatrix Lestrange. I don't know, but I have the wig and the wand. So why not? But that's not all. I've had more. I have also received from Noble Collection the gorgeous Honeyduke's Chocolate Frog Cushion which is amazing and not only does it have fantastic cushion but it also has the wonderful chocolate frog inside as well i love it i love it i love it i love it some noble collection i love you thank you so much and one of the other things that i bought last weekend was the plush noble collection monster book of monsters isn't he just gorgeous i absolutely love him he's so soft and Widgy. I love his spine, it's so soft, you have to stroke his spine, of course, as Hagrid tells you to, but it's just so, so lovely. And I don't know if I've told you guys about this as well, I have even had the gorgeous, I use the word gorgeous a lot, but it's because Harry Potter and I just love everything, um, the money box of the um, Ukrainian Iron Belly over Gringotts Bank. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, these are around 20, 29 pound. I, I know the two brooms is gonna start stocking them soon, but I actually bought this from eBay. So I am very, very, very lucky. It's very, very nice indeed. So as you can see, over the last couple of weeks, I have been immensely lucky, I am well aware. But I obviously I've been really, really crazy busy, so obviously I couldn't do my Ancestral Thursday video this week, which I don't like not doing videos, I do feel like I'm letting people down. But I've also, I'm obviously a full-time uni student as well, so I'm doing my um, my film and TV degree. Um, I've also been approached by a company, um, a broadband provider, asking would I collaborate with them, so it's a bit crazy. Um, my wonderful friend Cherry Wallace is, is kind of giving me lots of help with in guiding me with what I'm meant to be doing and so on because I'm I'm very new to all of this. So obviously I'm I'm really lucky I get all these companies sending me items, but then I'm kind of like I don't know what to do. I don't know how to kind of approach it. So I've only really been doing YouTube since November. Um, and I love talking about things. My main thing is collecting. I'm 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 a collector, that is what I do. You know, being the Guinness World Records of the largest Wizarding World collection is amazing, um, and it, I, and I feel very privileged. But I I do struggle with kind of like the organisation of things, and then that's where my disabilities kick in. You know, they do kind of affect me, like trying to sort things out. Um, so I have been trying to kind of sort things out in my head and I, when I've had her companies message me I've been messaging Cherry and saying you know how do I go about this and bless her she's such a lovely lovely person how can somebody that um, that successful still kind of give somebody like me time so I'm there's not people out there there's not many people like that out there they're very rare um, people that kind of like do like have become hugely successful just kind of forget the little guy um, and I honestly think that Cherry was one of them, like when I knew her last year. Um, but she's she's completely not. She's just like completely, just really, genuinely down to earth, and just genuinely, genuinely nice and really lovely. And I don't know how I'm so lucky to have landed such a really good friend. Um, we're actually meeting up hopefully next month, um, and we're going to spend a day together, and we're going to talk about stuff. And no cameras or anything. We're not doing anything like that. It is generally just me and her, just talking going through things she wants to show me um the places around where she lives and stuff because i think she thinks i'm going to enjoy that which i probably will because i love stuff like that i'm a country girl at the end of the day i was brought up by a farm so um i used to go for really long walks when i was a kid through fields and forestry and by lakes and rivers and streams and i used to spend most of my time in the stream by my house um i used to get up to all sorts of things when i did it but uh oh the stories i could tell um i actually grew up in a place called login uh, going off a bit of a topic now, off topic now, uh, when it comes to Harry Potter, but I grew up in a place called Login, um, near Whitland in South West Wales. And literally there were a handful of houses. And I was the only child at the time. Um, so I lived amongst all these people, I say all these people, there's like five houses. And they were all adults, you know, the children had grown up and left home and so on. 
so I had to make my own fun basically and I would walk maybe between 10 and 15 miles a day no exaggeration that is what I do um the place was just so it's so beautiful and it was kind of like in a valley if you don't know where I mean you should check it out because it's I wouldn't want to live there now because the people um, um we won't go there but I lived by a railway track because uh, my house was an old pub. It was a really haunted pub. It had four floors. It was quite, quite, quite spooky. Um, and I, I used to walk down the railway track all the time because it's in the middle of this massive forest to the point where they'd actually come down and cut the trees for like businesses and so on because it was just so vastly huge. Easy to get lost in if you didn't know where you were. Luckily, I'd explored for years, so I was fine. Um, and they ha I had a massive uh, river near me as well, uh, with me, by me as well, for like waterfalls and stuff. And it always looked like something that you'd see in Canada, in like films that you'd see, like were filmed in Canada. It was so beautiful and like rocky mountains and things. And um, because it was just so crazy and like massive boulders in the rivers and like just, just so like, you wouldn't have imagined it being so amazing, but it really was. Uh, it was just so beautiful and that was my childhood and I was always surrounded by cows and bulls and sheep um, we had goats, chickens, cats, dogs, horses, um, oh gosh what else did we have? We had ducks, we had chipmunks, we had, um, who was called Chip? Um, uh, what else did we have? We had, we had fish, um, we just had so much, we, we, we always had such a, a, a huge um, amount of animals and they were all pets they all had names uh, my cat was called babe and then when babe died um i had Maisie. uh she was beautiful um and i had a goat called dance who just pranced around completely and utterly complete crazy we had shetland ponies i had one called current bun uh, my sister had horses we had cows um called bumble it was a jersey cow um, we had 13 cats at one point. We had a duck called Sybil who hated me. Uh, we had obviously had Chip. Um, we had dogs called Winston and Skippy. Uh, golden retrievers. We were very, very, very lucky. So I've grown up with animals uh, all my life. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky. So when she puts videos of her with cows and things, it's like, oh my God, it's like being home again. I love it. And so I'm really looking forward to meeting up with Cherry. So that's just going to be really, really nice. I've never met Cherry before. So... Um, I feel like I've been friends with her for a long time, even though we haven't really been properly speaking until this year, really. Um, but she has kind of just, I've just said so much to her and I've been so transparent to her that I thought she was just kind of go, right, okay, bye. <laughs> um, I've had enough of you, you're really driving me mad. Um, but never, ever, ever has she come across as like getting bored or fed up with me asking her questions. So yeah, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know how I cope, I'd cope without her at the moment, so. But I really want to be able to do all this by myself. Um, and we're very different. She's obviously, she's very much a content creator. She's um, She's been around since like, what is it, 2011? So um, Cherry is just like, she's very much the um, number one professional um, and rightly so. Um, I have literally been doing this since November. So I'm very much early stages. So it's very, very crazy. So yes. Um, but my collaboration now with Leaky is going to be huge. I mean, we, we've, we're, they've asked if I'll do a video every two weeks, um, which shouldn't take too much time out of my, my hugely busy, busy schedule at the moment. Um, for those of you who don't know, I actually have an Iron Throne as well, so that that tours the country. So obviously I'm working with that as well. Um, I obviously do all my social media. I don't tend to do as much on my Facebook at the moment. My editors are dealing with most of that. So I do post things on there that I'm doing. Um, and I'm just looking at this picture of all these flowers thinking, do you know what? That is gonna be my new screensaver. I absolutely love that. I wanna send that to the bride. And so I'm gonna save it now and I'm gonna send it to her. I really love it. So yeah, this week has kind of been a bit crazy. Um, next week I've got university, even though there's, it's Easter, I've still got uni. Um, and then the week after I do my final piece, which is um, filming an 11 minute um, program, which is gonna be really crazy. Um, my stomach is really bad because I haven't been able to sleep. I've been quite nervous about everything and you know, doing my degree has been quite scary, but um, I was talking to my DOP, my director of photography last week, uh, sorry, this week. 
and Nikki, she's really lovely. She's just, she's been doing media for the last couple of years and so she knows exactly what she's doing. And she, as I was saying to her, you know, it's my last, it's my first year. I don't want to go crazy. Um, I don't want to like be mad and, and just like try and do all this like incredible stuff. And I've only just started. So I, I've literally been on this course for just under two months. Um, so I'm not skilled. I'm not kind of, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, this is actually the first video I have done on my camera, my new camera. So hi, <laughs> I mean, my camera that's like apparently the camera for YouTubers. But I've never done a video on it because it's just been so scary. But here you are. Um, I'm going to edit it with iMovies on my my new Mac, uh, my new uh, Mac computer. Um, I have all the Adobe packages to do it, so I've got Final Draft and so on to be all like creative and, and crazy. But I just haven't had time to learn anything at the moment. Um, this week, apart from uni, I'm trying to get as many videos out of the way as possible so I can just chillax for a little bit. Um, I think that's what I'm going to try and concentrate on now this week. Um, but yeah, I am just, just a bit crazy. My life is amazing and I, I don't know, um, where it's going, but I know it's going good. I know it's going somewhere. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching um i love you guys remember i don't know what i'm gonna be doing next week i think i've got a few of the obviously i've got the balance of strange figures um, and i've got the qmx figures to talk about as well so and um, obviously geek gear is on its way which i really can't wait because i'm really really starting to get into geek gear boxes now um but yeah exciting 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 times ahead <laughs> thank you so much for watching please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, invite your friends, and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section, what did you think of this video? What would you like me to cover? Until then, thank you so much. Take care, I love you all, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.